What's up everyone? My name is Abby. I like to read and I am very excited because I got some book mail. So I got these two Amazon packages today. Freckles is very excited. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> so in this first one, let's see what's in here. So first thing is this Throne of Glass coloring book. This is bigger than I thought it would be. Um, and I got this because the Akita one is like impossible to find now. And if you do find it, it's like $800 or something. Maybe not that high, maybe $80, but it's ridiculous. So I wanted to get this before, you know, just in case this one also did the same thing. So got that. Then I got the Mortal Instruments graphic novel. I'm really excited about this. Is this a graphic novel? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if, if... Yeah, graphic novel. I don't know the difference between graphic novel and manga, but this is the volume one of the Mortal Instruments graphic novel. I didn't realize that it was going to be like a like the size of a book. I thought it was going to be like bigger or something. But yep, so excited to read that. And then, last one in this box is Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book, um, the sequel to Skyward. I don't know what the series is called, but it's the second book, and I am super excited to get to this. I love Skyward so much. So that is the first box, and then the next one, let's see what's in here. Ooh, how exciting. So I have Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nan. This is the second book um, in the Girls of Paper and Fire series. I think that's what the series is called. But also so excited about this one. And then in here, I have some... Who's got more in this? This isn't a lot. Is this all it came with? Maybe you just can't see it. I'm going to open this up. So I thought that these are supposed to come with six packs. I might have to check what I ordered, but this is only four. So I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna start tabbing my books and I am very excited about that. But this doesn't look like what I ordered. I'll have to go check that. And then finally I got this pin banner so that I don't have to keep poking holes in my tote bag. I can put my enamel pins on this so yeah that's it for what i got on amazon recently hello everybody it is a few days later it's wednesday july 8th i think um and i have several updates for you guys first of all my um dreamy box came in from jimmy dreamy and co um, it was a Crescent City box, and so I filmed a video, an unboxing of that, and I loved it so much. I just love Crescent City so much, so this was, like, really special. Um, also, I finished Shielded, and I think I finished it two days ago, and it was so good. Oh my gosh, guys. It was amazing. I... I'm so excited for the next one, and it's going to be so long, so that's sad. <laughs> but I loved the characters. I loved the action. It was it was just a really good book. I really enjoyed it. Um, also, I have recently started annotating my books. You saw in the previous clip that I got some book tabs. Um, so I figured I could kind of explain how I'm doing that. But because... I really wanted to start annotating a book. I was hesitant to start doing it in a book that I hadn't read before just because I don't know what I'm doing and when I'm trying to like figure out the story I don't know if I want to like be tabbing things or writing in the book if I don't know if I'm gonna like the story. So I figured it was about time that I do a reread of my favorite series ever, Throne of Glass. So I am rereading those and tabbing them because I figured if it's my favorite series I would want them to be tabbed you know so I started with the Assassin's Blade when I first read the series I was reading it as it came out um so I read Assassin's Blade I don't remember if it's after 
Crown of Midnight or Air of Fire, but I read it when it came out, so I didn't read it like first. And there's different like ways you can read this series, but I wanted to start with it first because uh, my memory isn't that great, so I don't remember everything that happened in this series, so I want to get that experience of reading Assassin's Blade first. And yeah, I read the first story so far and I tabbed it and it's really good. And I'll show you what my tabbing system is. So this is the book right here. I've got the beginnings of my tabs um, and I'm using this as a bookmark. And this is like a key of all of the colors. So there's seven different colors. So, um, and after, even after I made this, I kind of like added stuff to it, but I'll go over the different colors. So I have pink, which I put love here, but I also, I think I want to do this for any moment, um, between a relationship that I really like. It doesn't have to be a romantic moment, just any relationship between two characters that I really enjoy. I'm going to do pink and then orange is funny. And then yellow is anything I don't like or something that I found annoying. Green is action or exciting or just a moment that was like kick ass and like it was just like, yeah. And blue is sad or emotional. And then this dark purple is foreshadowing or just like information that is important to the story. Maybe it's like background information that pertains to the story or something that might come up in the future, like foreshadowing. And then light purple is plot twist or something that is like shocking or like a moment where you're just like, wow, which that just describes shocking. So I don't know why I added that last part. <laughs> but yeah, those are different colors. So I'll put this back in the bookmark. Um, I've also, here, let me show you my cup of things. So, um, I'll leave a link to the place. I bought this on Amazon, but I'll leave an exact link in case you guys are interested. Um, but these are the tabs that I got. It has the square ones and then also the, um, arrow ones. And I've decided that, um... I'm going to use both of them and the arrows are going to be when it's pointing to like a specific quote and I'm going to underline that quote and then oh sorry you can see my toes how gross and then the rectangles are just going to be if it's like a paragraph that I'm showing that are that pertains to the colors then I will just do the the, the rectangles because it won't be like pointing to something so I'm just like so excited about this. But so like here's the arrow and then I've um, underlined it in the color that like goes with that color. Um, and then this is like, it's just like the whole scene right here. So it's the rectangle. And then I also bought these highlighters that also are the, the colors. And I think whenever I like a specific quote, instead of just like underlining, like when I underline things, it's like, this is what I'm talking about. But if I like a, the quote, you know, like famous quotes from books, then I'll highlight those. So yeah, I am having so much fun. It's honestly like really enjoyable. Um, it makes reading like, I, I'm reading it, like, um, more in depth, and I'm, because sometimes, you know, I, I will zone out, but, like, when I tab this, I'm, like, actually reading every single word on the page, and it's just, it's been a lot of fun. I haven't been, like, actually writing notes in there. I'm not at that stage yet, but I am underlining things, so, yeah, that is my system. Hello everybody, it is Sunday, June 12th, and I've failed at vlogging this week. In case you're wondering, yes, that is hay in my hair. <laughs> I feel like I use the excuse that I work at a barn a lot, but um, I work at a barn. I haven't done it in like a few days, but 
Um, that means that I've accumulated a bunch of book mail. So today I'm going to be showing you all the things I've gotten in the past few days. So the first book I have is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I pre-ordered this um, and then I also got like the pre-order goodies, but those have not come in yet. Um, but I'm excited about this. I've heard some mixed things about it, but um, it sounds really good. Let me see if there's anything special. No, just purple. And then I also got Twilight and New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. I got these off of Book Depository, and I always forget that when you order off of Book Depository that um, you'll, unless you, like, make sure that you're getting the U.S. version, they'll, like, you'll probably get the U.K. version. Um, and so these are, like, a lot smaller than the U.S. copy, and so at first I was, like, when I saw the package, I was like, there's no way that this is what I ordered because the packages are so thin, but it's just because it's the... UK version, which I'm not mad about. I need more room on my shelf, so these aren't going to take up too much space. And then today, I'm super excited about these. I am starting to complete my Rick Riordan collection. I used to have a lot of his books, but then I was stupid and I sold them when I was a kid because past Abby is an idiot. But um, I got them all in like the new covers because I thought they looked really cool. And so I'm going to reread all of these, and since I've started tabbing, like, my favorite books, I want Rick Riordan to be an author that I always tap his books, just because they're just so good. Um, so I got The Cane Chronicles, the first one is The Red Pyramid, and then The Throne of Fire, and then The Serpent Shadow, and then this box also comes with a sampler of the graphic novel, which is really cool. And I'm not going to put these back in the box in this video because that will take forever. <laughs> and then I also got this box set of the Heroes of Olympus, but these are also the new covers. I also got the new covers of the Percy Jackson series. Those haven't come in yet. I got this at Target, so it's going to take a little longer to come in. But the first book is The Lost Hero. And then The Son of Neptune. The Mark of Athena, which I think this is the book that I stopped at. I don't think I finished this book. Either this one or The House of Hades I didn't finish. I don't remember which one. Um, and then the last book is The Blood of Olympus. So I really like these covers. I like the illustrations. I think, I don't know if it's like the 10th anniversary covers, but they are super cool. Um, and I'm very excited to reread these, and um, I've decided that since they're, like, middle grade books, I usually try to keep my books really, like, they look new. There's, like, on paperbacks, I don't like to break the spine, but um, these are good books that I'm going to, like, treasure forever, I think, because uh, Rick Riordan was, like, a big part of my childhood, so I think I'm not going to be scared to break the spine. I think these are going to be like well-loved books. You know, I want my kids to read these books. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and like, like when I read them, I'm going to like full out read them, break the spine, stuff like that. Cause I'm going to be tabbing them as well. So it'll be an experiment for me because I don't like breaking the spine, but I am super excited to start my Rick Riordan journey again. I think I'm going to start with the Kane Chronicles because I have to wait um, to start Percy Jackson, um, when my boyfriend finishes Harry Potter, because we're reading that together, and so he wants to finish that before we start the Percy Jackson series, and he doesn't want to read this one, so I think I'm going to start with the Cain Chronicles, and yeah, those are all the books that I've gotten so far. Hello everybody, please excuse the wet hair, I just got back from work, but it is Monday, July... 13th? <laughs> oh boy. And to end this week's reading vlog, I wanted to go over all the books that I'm currently reading um, and where I am at with them and what I think about them. So um, I'm reading The Last Wish by Andrew Sapowski. I'm on page 61 and um, it's boring so far. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it, I'm reading it really slowly, so not making too much progress on that at all. Um, and then the next book is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I'm on page 268 and um, I'm tabbing it. I'm having so much fun tabbing it. And yeah, it's, it's going pretty quickly. And I'm also reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. And I'm on page 120. And I'm also tabbing this book, loving it. I am obsessed with having books now. So <laughs> it makes reading so much more fun because I have like a goal or whatever. Um, I'm also reading the fourth Harry Potter book. I'm on page 272. And I'm trying to read at least a chapter a day just so I can finish that a little quicker because I've been on that book for like maybe two months now. And then the last book, I just picked this up randomly. It wasn't on my TBR. I really, I turned into a mood reader and I was like, I have to read this now. So I picked up The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I only read one chapter, I'm on page 17, but I'm super excited to tab these. I've already started doing that a little bit. Um, just because these are like my childhood books. I wasn't a Harry Potter girl. When I was a kid, I was a Rick Riordan girl. And so um, I'm so excited to finally get all of his books again and then read them and tab them and keep them in my collection forever. So I think those are all the books that I'm reading currently. And um, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Why can I not speak?